Hair Cancer. Today we're dealing with the root chakra. We're going to deal with some root chakra issues. Stuff connected to what's hidden in your subconscious mind. What's so crazy is when I popped from the Oracle deck that I chose this time, um, y'all got an 11 too, so it's going to be some hella fine illuminations today. Anyway, it says, when I let others shine, I shine too. So I, I giggled a little bit. I was like, hmm, that sounds like people that didn't get a lot of attention as a child. You know, see me, see me. And you should, you could have, a lot of children do want that. So not all of them, but some children just want to be seen. My son is like that. It's difficult as a parent when you got a child like that. Especially if you're a parent that's not aware that they're like that. I'm aware that my child is like that, so sometimes... I pay attention and sometimes I purposely don't pay attention because I don't want him to always have to seek validation outside of himself. Do you like it? Do you think you're awesome? Do you like that little spin-out move you just did? You did, you thought that was live? Okay, well that's all that matter. You know what I'm saying? But if you didn't have it as a child, it can really fuck you up as an adult because you'll always kind of be wanting the spotlight. You can lose a lot of friendships like that. You can really plummet in business like that. You just weren't seen or heard. So when I when I when I uh, snickered, that's really what I did. I looked down, and this was on the, the top of the deck that I popped from karma cards. So it's like, okay, well, I usually pop from. Um, my karma card stack and my other astrology deck that I mix together to get the sequence of who gets the reading first, second, third, whatever. And y'all popped the moon. So I was like, damn, I wonder what card came off of cancer. And it was the moon. So you say defend, accept, let your feelings tell you how to. The nurturing of. So some of y'all lacked nurturing. You didn't have a nurturing parent. Some of you feelings caused by could be the reason you have a problem with letting other people shine some of y'all came to grips with that some of y'all are working on that some of y'all are unaware to this very moment like damn do I got an issue with letting other people shine if you do then there's something rooted in your root chakra which is connected to your fears and to me it's the foundational base of everything that grows from you you know what i mean when you plant a seed whatever is wrong with that seed once it grows the farmer will be able to say okay this is bad this is good this is bad this is good it's the same way with us when you grow up you get to see some shit that got planted in you what was good and what was bad you know good soil is good soil some shit is rocky and no shit fall on it because it's rocky. It's no where to plant anything. That's where you just got a bad seed. However, if you got soil, the seed, then once it grows up, you separate the good from the bad. Same thing with human shit. Okay, this was cool. That was fucked up. This was cool. That was fucked up. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay? Prayerfully, that makes sense reactions y'all may have had a parent that didn't react when you brought home a drawing look mom get out of here i'm trying to sleep kind of situation and not the parent and say wow this is great you know even though is this a stick figure kind of situation however it still fucks with you and it's rooted in your subconscious that your work isn't good enough children just seek validation they do. They need affirming. They do. Let your feelings tell you how to. Some of y'all have become numb where you can't even feel anymore to be told how to do whatever from your emotional center. So that means you heavily in your mental space. And sometimes when you heavily in your mental space, you heavily in your ego. And if you heavily in your ego, you definitely don't want nobody to outshine you. You know, for real. Defend. Maybe defensive. I stay on offense. You know? That way, I can see somebody coming at me because I know that I'm not coming at anybody because I'm on offense. 
That's why people say, I'm offended that you would think that, you know, because I wouldn't have thought that of you. I mean, you have defensive people. Anything you say is wrong. That's where you get triggers. But once you understand your triggers, then you can uh, master your reaction. Or sometimes you will cease to react at all. Okay. Okay, we're going to dig into this. Accept. Accept the truths about you. That it wasn't you. That we all was raised a certain kind of way. And our parents did the best they could with what they had. However, I don't go by the model of other people. Children, my son, oh God. I don't say, what kind of parent I got? Because most children will use the, I didn't ask to be here. I didn't ask to come here. It's a lie. You chose your parents. You were intelligent before you came here. You just came into the physical manifestation of who you are, but you were of a higher intelligence before you touched down in that hospital room. And you chose your mother. And you chose your father. So I tend to ask my son, when he's so aggravated with who he chose to be his father, I said, well, you should have waited. You were so eager to get to me because he came to me in a dream. When I was my, with my first husband, so I thought he was going to come through my first husband. He didn't come through my first husband, but I felt like he wasn't ready. He just presented himself to me in a dream, knocked on my door. I heard the knock in physical reality. I saw him in the dream state. I literally got out of my bed and went outside and looked. And he asked me, will you open the door and sup with me like Jesus in the Bible? I tell no lies. And, he, and when my baby came out, he looked exactly like the baby I had a dream about. You see what I'm saying? But my first husband, we just couldn't. And then later to find out, my mother tells me, this is my mother. This is her energy just did like this to me. Because she knows she was dead wrong. Because my first husband would have been an excellent father. My mother said she prayed for my womb to be closed with my first husband. Ain't that some shit? Guess why? Because I had become Muslim. You out of line, lady. So when I got pregnant with my second ex-husband, she threw the biggest baby shower. I mean, just so, and I'm saying the whole time she would tell me to leave him alone since I was a young girl. He may love you, so you think, but leave him alone. He ain't going nowhere with his life. I didn't listen, but it was a whole other situation going on, too. However, I'm sitting there saying, oh, what the hell is going on here? You know, you literally done prayed for my womb to be closed so that my child couldn't have came through. And what's so crazy, my first husband, he's a Libra, and my son is a Libra. But my son got a lot of his, my first husband's attributes and he is nowhere near his father how crazy is that shit but i know if he was his father the problems i got now no fucking way because he wanted a child that bad and he didn't have any and i didn't have any we went to fertility clinic every damn week we did everything he took uh he had to take a vitamin maybe vitamin c or something to boost his sperm count other than that, it was nothing blocking us but my mother. And she tells me this after we divorced, like she did us a favor. I'm like, girl, because I wouldn't have been with him. I wouldn't have stayed married to him. However, I know goddamn well he would have been an excellent father. So how fucked up is that shit? That's why she hit me like this. That's what she would have did in her when she was alive. Because she knew she was wrong. <laughs> she... She played God. She got me fucked up for real. And my son probably like, shit, I thought I was coming through the right. <laughs> I say all that to say, you chose your mother and your father. So that's why a lot of times the Bible does say, you know, I don't know if the Bible says it, but you hear people say it and it's very true. Forgive them for they know not what they do. Jesus did say that. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, it's about that. He was about to get up out of here. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. You know what I mean?
for real. You got to. And then you have to do the work of assimilating or shafting or whatever you want to call it in order to separate what you could take of good, what you could throw away that's bad. You know, that's what Kendrick Lamar said. You got all this sucker shit in your DNA. You need to get it out of here. <laughs> you need to work with the good shit because that sucker shit will fuck you up. And how you thinking you need to outshine everybody and not understanding when you let others shine, you shine too. So that's like if you had a cousin that come over and they can dance better than you, you be done punch them in the stomach so that you can show your moves and people can say, oh, look at you, look at you. Because when you at home with mom and dad or mom alone or dad alone, they they be half tired and then pin your ass no attention kind of shit. 38. Yeah, children choose their parents. Don't, don't let them pull your shit on y'all. You need to come here. Yes, the fuck you did. Because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here. You answered the call, didn't you? Didn't you answer the call? How many sperms? Just look at how many sperms is released. You raced to get here. Okay? You met the egg. Oh, you asked. You knew. And you chose, didn't you? Mm hmm. And this leaves men out. So when I say women, men, you're in this too. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Because that's like when I let others shine, I shine too. To me, the way the society has set this up, this pro-feminine shit, it puts a woman and a man that are in an intimate relationship in competition instantly. Because I have to show that I'm the man. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 please stop. Competition isn't real. It's really not. You have righteous competition, which ain't shit but camaraderie, or when you see it's good sportsmanship, it's what it is. Shit, it's no fucking competition. That's rooted in nothingness, okay? Women all over the world are rising up, shining brighter, and letting their voices be heard. Men all over the world are rising up, shining brighter, and letting their voices be heard. As sisters, as brothers, mothers, fathers, daughters, sons, friends, and lovers. It doesn't have sons in here. It doesn't have brothers in here. It does not have fathers in here. So sometimes when I read out a lot of these books, it only is relative to women. So I'll inject the male portion of it in here. Okay, a lot of times that's what I do. They just they don't even acknowledge men anymore. I guess women are just so disgusted with patriarchy, but patriarchy has been you got a few men that's holding strong to it because they be damn candy shit. But this shit is crazy on the men side of how much they're disregarded, but women want one. I don't get it. We can celebrate our differences while strengthening our inherent sameness. Intuition, creativity, receptivity, courage, nurturing, sensuality, wisdom, healing, understanding, and our connection to the moon. Hmm, cancer. You are a vital part of this rise. Encourage others to shine bright and give yourself permission to do the same. When you admire another person, it's a direct reflection of your own beauty and potential. So some of y'all may have had jealousy issues when you were younger. Against a sibling or something. Because they just seem to get the most attention, can't you? You don't want to do that. Just chalk it. Throw it in the trash. Because you're vital as well. You're um, original. It'll never be another you. You know? So jealousy is stupid. Envy is even dumber. When you admire another person, it's a direct reflection of your own beauty and potential. Choose to be inspired by her light and send a warm smile her way. Choose to be inspired by his light and send a smile his way. It doesn't make you gay, okay? Comparison is toxic. Dulls your sign and sends out a message of inadequacy. So y'all did that too. These are core issues. I'm just get two of y'all. Pluck them up, throw them bitches away. Burn them in the fire, you know what I mean? Instead, recognize that you are family and witness each other's divinity with love. You will instantly uplift you both while increasing your own freedom and magnetism. 
When we openly and sincerely acknowledge our admiration for another, we affirm the power of connection and dissolve the illusion of competition. It is, man. This ritual will build confidence and radiance for both you and others. For seven consecutive days, starting today, vocally share your admiration for another woman or man. Do this at least once a day. Speak to and be present with the specific man or woman you're admiring. Now that's a challenge for your ass. It says challenge yourself to mix it up between strangers, family, friends, and colleagues as an additional bonus. Include yourself in the mix. Are you inspired by his or her style, his or her art, his or her smile, his or her beauty, his or her words, his or her vibe, or his or her achievements? Gracefully let them know be centered and genuine as you speak. Notice the energy left in the air afterwards. Embrace this healthy and supportive approach towards women and men and sisterhood and brotherhood as you vocalize your admiration. This will make you both shine. But you see how contradictory this is? Because it just left men out of it. But it instantly puts men and women in competition. They say the competition is illusion, which it is. However, Women are starting to feel, just for me reading this, I didn't create this deck, it's a beautiful deck, I'm just saying. Women tend to think that men are emotionally unavailable, which they are, because they're never uh, affirmed. They're rarely affirmed, even by their own spouses. <laughs> you know, they should give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. I'm the prize. You know what I'm saying? You're lucky to have somebody like me kind of situation. But men rarely get affirmed. So they just turn off and become workhorses. And here's the money. And they go and do whatever it is. Cheat with another woman that may, you know, affirm them sexually. And it's on to another one. Another one. It's just a bad deal. Okay? So I'm going to add men on this channel to saying with none of that shit. The feminist movement. I am a feminine, but I'm not a feminist. I have a son. Fuck, I look like. And I wanted a daughter. <laughs> oh, but God knows that's about me. And I don't know why I fooled myself into thinking that. My son had already came to me in a dream as a boy. I think because when I was in the nation, when I had just got in the nation, I saw how black men were being treated. And I didn't want to have to raise that because it's too just too hard. You know what I'm saying? For them. It's hard on black women too. Don't get me wrong, but black men kids, hell. I don't want to have to. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? They say, God, you ask God, why me? And he say, why not you? I need you, soldier. Kind of situation. You will raise at least one up that can shine. <laughs> Just like a woman can shine. You know what I'm saying? This is this men so bad. Especially black men. You know? You gotta sometimes be the one that birthed the standard. Which is very difficult. Cause I was crying like a mother. Especially what I had to work with on the father's side. Now, if I would have had my first husband, she had ex-husband, I would have been bad at all. I would have been happy. Just, he was in the nation with me. And he knew exactly what to do to raise a boy. You know what I'm saying? You tell me. <laughs> oh, please. You think you got problems. King of Cups. Oh, shit. It's men. For real. Getting into it with their emotional center. Once men turn on to their emotional center, oh, they got some bad motherfuckers. And it's in a good way. Eight of Wands. Transmuting. Change. Happening. Once you really, once somebody tells, like, gives you information and it makes sense and it clicks, the change be so fucking fast. Yeah. They be quick not to show love. Women be quick not to show love to men but won't love. How? How the fuck you want a good friend but you the worst friend ever? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And then people that are great friends have no friends. Ain't that crazy? High priestess energy. Some of y'all picked up on this. 
cancer, cancerian women or cross watchers, and some men are high priests. There's no such thing as a high priestess. It's high priest. That's it. Spirit burned it off. I had the high priestess card sent here. Spirit burned off the ESS on priestess. And Minister Farrakhan had just said, you know, it's not, you're not a goddess. You're a god. Whether you're a man or a woman, you're a god. Let's say you're no goddess. And I was like, yeah, because that always bothered me. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed, but I'm not a goddess. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to take it off my candles. It's on there now, but it's going to be a reminder for me and whoever get that. The high priest. You can mark it off. I'll mark it off and put a little jazzy little something over it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm an auto-correcting fool like some of y'all are going today. You got to show love to get And not that fake shit. Men are just as spiritually, just as intuitive and spiritually uh, connected as women. Now, my second husband, ex-husband, ex, ex, ex. He was highly intuitive. He was a Pisces. Highly intuitive. Like, also, if I had to use the bathroom, he'd be dead ass sleep. I'd be sleep too. But you know how you want to hold it because you don't want to get up and have to go? He'd be like, go ahead and go to the bathroom. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you crazy, crazy. But he was that highly intuitive. No cap. Men have it. Women just don't acknowledge it. And sometimes men don't show it. And they have it. And run rings around a woman. Think they want Shit. And don't be gay. That's where they get you too. You know? They can be just as sensitive as anything, anybody else, any other woman, any woman, excuse me, or any gay man for that matter, but they're not gay. But for some reason, women put men in a box and men are so crazy that heterosexual men are starting to put themselves in a box just for money. See what I'm saying? For real. I swear, y'all, before I picked up this card, I saw somebody on social media as a man saying what men don't do in order to get a platform going, in order to get monetized. But you're selling out men. Why are you lying? When you know what the fuck is up because you a man. But just do it to appease a woman. Yeah, man ain't shit. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> but he a whole ass man who got friends. You know? Maybe not now. When I let others shine, I shine too. You know what I'm saying? Then you got that. Men falling out because some men are dedicated to telling the truth of what a man is because he's a man and he's the best one to tell what the fuck he is. And then you got a man that know what a man is, but he's unwilling to tell it because he want to get paid from the misery of women or from the misinterpretation of women about men. It's a cold name. And every man is not the same. Just like every woman is not the same. I cannot fucking stand that. Do not put other people in a box. When I let others shine, I shine too. That means you don't have to diminish anyone's light in order for you to shine brighter. No, the fuck you don't. You can shine brighter by just adding more of yourself, your light, your light energy to letting somebody else know that you see the light that they carry too. There ain't nothing but more light. More illumination. Damn your light. That's a childhood issue. Is it not? Who didn't pay your attention when you were singing loud and ain't nobody said nothing? That's true. Nine of Wands in reverse. Some men aren't feeding off that shit. Ace of Cups in reverse, nine of wands in reverse, and causing men and women to further misunderstand each other every five fucking minutes. Then you gotta be put in a group in a box with all of them. Oh, I give every man a free chance. I do not, when I date, I do not carry old bricks. I don't. 
Every man is a man unto himself. Whatever you do, you're going to do it on your own accord. And it ain't going to be me comparing you to no fucking body. Because if it's not one snowflake alike, I know damn well a lot is out of this world enough to make every human being different. Even if you are born of the same mother and father, you do not have the same genetics as the siblings that you have or the mother or father that bore you. You don't. Everybody got their own different set of genetics. You got certain shit in there that's like them because, it, okay, it's science, right? And they work blood of your blood, bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, but you still an individual at the end of the day. It ain't like that. You know what I mean? God know what he's doing. Because sometimes we know not what we do because we are creation of Okay. Respect the game. Disappointment, gloom, disheartened, unfulfilled, disillusion. A lot of women. Could be a lot of Cancerian women I'm talking to. You're all of those things. From men, disappointed by them, feeling the sense of gloom, disheartened by them, unfulfilled by them, disillusioned. Because you're buying a narrative that's just not true. And you could be banned it from a man on the internet trying to get monetized or stay monetized for telling and feeding a lie that he knows one because he's a man. Reverse, drain, repress, empty, isolated, disconnected. That's how some women feel right now. And men, drained, repressed, empty, isolated, and disconnected. From each other, for real, if you want to be honest. Yeah, that's one of them third party situations. Yeah, that's why they just keep getting real. <laughs> they laughing. Because this is just keep getting more and more women. Just keep getting more and more women. Well, then the women get on their fucking nerve. They be saying, how the fuck I'm going to get out of this? And you got some that turn homosexual. Just not to have to deal with another woman. Not because he don't like vagina. Uh -uh. He just don't like your mouth and your attitude. You empty. You disillusioned. I feel disconnected. There's no connection outside of me sticking this in you. It's the only connection I'm getting right now. And it ain't even all with that. So I'm getting out of here. And I'm going to go be with a man and understand how I feel because he's a man. Whoa. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I let the shine, I shine too. It's because a lot of people could be cancers, could be cross watchers, and a lot of people are in competition with their mates, trying to outshine each other. Well, mommy, stupid shit. Now you got it on the spiritual side. That's what they're showing me. And when men are going to naturally come into the position that God created them to come into, which was being first. It wasn't about being first, but patriarchy turned it into that, which was a, uh, I don't know, the percentage of toxic ass men that were taught that bullshit and perpetuated it inside society. But every man ain't cut that way. You know, so you can't just group all men together to say they like this and like that. That's so aggravating. I don't like when men do it to me. So I damn sure know men don't like when women do it to them. And sometimes as a magician, I will do it and say all men are dogs just to get a rise out of a man to stop being stupid and stop buying into the narrative that you are that. Because we've been saying it for how long? So why do you keep doing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the dog. Shut up. That's me. The hang mules. Yeah, get bad. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at this. This women all over the place, though. Just over it. Done. Fried. Don't even matter that this is a hang mules and this is a ten of swords. They busted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
idea that God put us all here to hate each other, but to want each other all at the same time. This is kind of weird. I think I'm going to step back and just look at all this stupid ass shit. You know, let others shine, because I damn sure don't want the spotlight, okay? Hermit, and Virgo energy. Mm -hmm. Some women are sitting in Hermit mode alone, because they somewhere listening to a fucking man on social media downplay other men. When he get off social media, this is how life works. So he would not be able to tell me that I'm lying. Because this is how life works. Soon as he get his happy ass offline, get his monetization, but sit up there affirming to a woman a bunch of lies and putting her further and further in disillusionment. He's going to get off of there and do the same shit that he said that these dudes is doing. Which immediately makes him a hypocrite. And Allah hates the hypocrite. So you be saying, I hope. Y'all you know I don't fuck with hope. But I hope the monetization is worth what you're doing to that woman ultimately. Because men right away see it. Why are you listening to him? He's lying. He's a fraud. He's just the one trying to get women to pay him. Some attention and some damn money. Derry. That was the one dude named Derry. Derry, yeah. Or separating from men, going off on their own and trying to really, everybody is on this be single, be single, be by yourself. Self love. Don't touch nobody. Don't talk to nobody. Now, somebody did say, you had somebody say on there, and I agree with both. One said, look, I'm fucked up. Quit trying to force me into a relationship, basically, is what he was saying. It was a meme, and he put it in a real eloquent way. But he was really trying to say, when I say I'm not ready, I'm not ready. But why do you feel the need to attack me or try to force me to be ready? Because you see that I'm a man that's taking accountability for my shitty behavior. If I'm taking accountability for my shitty behavior, allow me to disconnect from all women. Even if I want to go out on a date, let's just eat and that's it. I'm not able to commit to you right now. I'm not able to give you anything solid. I'm just not. Quit trying to force me. Because as soon as you get me in a relationship that I know I'm not ready for, you get me in a commitment that I know I'm not ready for, I'm going to hurt you because I am hurting. you got to respect somebody like that. How can you not? You know what I'm saying? So you got men and women everywhere with that shit. Then you had another man that said, damn, y'all, I can't even think. I can't. It just slipped my mind what he said, but it was on a video. But, oh, he was saying the same thing. You don't need nobody right now. No, you don't. But to me, if he, to me, he fucked up because he was going for a female audience. But if he would have just shifted and took this shit to where he's talking to his male uh, comrades, oh shit, his platform, off the fucking Richter scale. I told a gay guy that because he gets tired of being hit on by uh, undercover gay men, which is what I just talked about. Men that don't have any connection with women emotionally, you know, it's just no connection because you don't understand me. You know what I'm saying? You listen to all this bullshit on social media trying to get a he running game on you. And now you're trying to put me in a position of what he's saying that I am. I don't know him. And I ain't that. Okay? So I'm going to go do what I do in the situation. So I advise the gay guy, whether he got the advice or not, he should start a platform for men that go gay by because of disconnection. It's not that they don't like women. You got some gay men that ain't never touched a woman and don't want to. We ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the ones that became gay by the fault of the connection that they couldn't find among women. But they still a human being kind of shit. <laughs> now if he would have took that same energy and been like you don't need nobody. Because men are very codependent. You got men that they just need to have a woman. You know what I'm saying? And some men are afraid to become gay 
because they cannot find a connection with a woman. But having a woman is better than going against my natural longing to be a man. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. Mm -hmm. Three of Pentacles. What people want. This is on a Three of Pentacles. And most people want this dynamic. But happy. And not make believe. Or just fucking it up. Self-sabotaging every five minutes. Don't know what to do with this shit. Yeah, man. Six of emotions. It came upside down like this. Six of cups. Because people are disconnected from their inner child for real. They really are. Totally disconnected. And a lot of the heartbreak be based off of something that happened within childhood that causes you to grow up in a weird kind of way. Because you're not doing any self-evaluation. The Bible says to examine thyself daily. Paul did it. You have to. To make sure you ain't tripping candy shit. Before you end up looking like this. Or before you end up looking like this. You need to do self-evaluation to see why do I keep doing this. You understand? And a lot of times you keep doing that because it's something that was uh something that's rooted in your subconscious. You better get rid of. It ain't shit. It don't mean shit. It just makes you act out. Like you a shitty person, and you're not. I don't know where that car flew to. Somebody had something. I don't know. I know. <laughs> King of Swords <laughs> in reverse. Yeah, lying to yourself that you don't need no woman, or lying to yourself that you gay. Cause gay men is about sick of that shit. Listen. What do you want? Shit. It's like being a prostitute. You know what I'm saying? That's some real shit. I know a lot of gay men that are really gay feel like a prostitute. Because you're just coming to me because you don't know how to fix it with her. At the end, you got, now you got women fighting women about a man. Now you got gay men fighting women about a man. Man, that's insanity. Page of emotions. Ego. This is my ego card. And it's like being in kindergarten like I see it. The world is like being in a kindergarten classroom to me all day. The only difference is the innocence is gone. Because adults just keep lying to themselves. You understand? For real. And then you got straight women that become aggressive towards gay men because gay men know how to treat straight men better than a heterosexual woman. Okay, well, who part is that, bitch? That's what the homosexual man be saying. And I be saying, show you right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. We all can shine here. Sus, I really don't even want your man. I want somebody that know that they want a man. And not a woman, but can't get the right connection. So they just settle for me. Can't be shit. I'm just saying. It's true. You know, how I got on the subject matter cancer. But we here now, ain't we? I'm about to get a part of here. We're going to take this a little bit further. It's a real shocker reading. I was going to get to it yesterday, but I was too tired. I was like, uh -uh. I was, I've been transmuting like crazy. Dark night of the souls. I mean, galore. This is, I was just like, I get up. My cat be so happy. She be like, come on, come on. Like, get out the bed. I'm like, girl, I can't even see straight. I got to lay down. It's not even a matter of me choosing to lay down. I want to get up and I want to do a reading, but I can't, you know? I be subdued like a motherfucker. I was looking like old girl in reverse yesterday. <laughs> and of course, I'm dreaming about my childhood home, my mother coming in my dream, being a dude that liked me back when I was a teenager, still possibly like me, because why are you here in my dream? It didn't work out, and I, I don't, if I seen him today, I wouldn't want him, you know, but he probably would still want to be with me, but I wouldn't want to be with him. Not in that way. Good friends, but not in that way. So it's just like coming, you just always coming into, or you just study farming, study nature, and study how a seed grows. So bad shit gets in there sometimes. I ain't talking about bad people either. It's just shit that just doesn't serve you anymore. 
You know what I'm saying? Like weeds growing in a garden. Weed be gone, candy shit. It's just not, that's not what I want. And sometimes you don't know that until you come fully into yourself to realize that you've been doing shit a certain way for so long. It just doesn't work for you anymore. Some of y'all may have jealousy issues. Some of y'all may have an issue with other people outshining you. And it's all rooted in your fucking childhood. Look at that. To me, the best way to stop that shit is what I do with my child. And that's to say, listen, I'm an asshole sometimes. One. Two, I'm an adult. You're a child. Let's get that understood. And they ain't even going there on authority piece. I have stuff going on that one day, when you're my age, perfectly, you don't have to go through none of this shit that I got going on. But the shit that I got going on doesn't allow my attention span to stay on you as long as you would like it to. But that don't have shit to do with you, son. It has all to do with me and stuff that I have to work through. So you're going to have to get validation sometimes from yourself and your creator because mommy ain't going to be able to supply it. I don't want you to be mad at mommy or think mommy don't think that you're the greatest person because I know that you are. Because you came from me. And you came from Allah, ultimately. And he is the greatest of the great, okay? So what I'm going to need you to do is not put all your coins in my basket and think that I'm supposed to be your all in all and everything because I'm not. At the end of the day, all you have is yourself. At the end of the day, all you have is your God. And prayerfully, Allah will bless you with people that will become a part of your tribe, that will support your dreams, and that will celebrate you. And you won't be going around looking for validation. Okay? So sometimes you do. You have to give it to your children straight up, no chaser. Some people say, she, I, I get this all the time with the courts and these social workers and shit. They like to throw me up under the bus. We think she just raises him. She just has too much of an adult conversation with him. Well, guess what? Look at the world. People need to have more adult conversations with children because children ain't as dumb as you think they are. They're actually more smarter than our asses. And that's, I'm going to digress on that point because y'all get the point. When I let others shine, I shine too. Ain't nobody block your shine. All they can do is add to it. Because every candle is a candle unto itself. Now, if you think you're about to come with that draining me shit. And you barely got light. Of your own. I don't fucking think so. You're going to have to find what's going on within you. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. So that you can figure it out. Because I ain't never here to keep allowing you to borrow my light. No, we shine together, okay? When I let others shine, I shine too. And that's it. All right, Cancer, if you're feeling the vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. Love and light.